start uh, good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you be friends the french chemist and microbiologist louis pasteur in his autobiography says chance favors the prepared mind unquote chance favors the prepared mind that is exactly what shakespeare in king richard 2 says all things are ready if our mind is be so unquote all things are ready if our mind is so that's what general pattern the famous uh, uh, great american uh, military chief pattern it is after his name the pattern tangers come pattern says prepare for the unknown prepare for the unknown studying how others in the past have uh, coped with unforeseeable and unpredictable unforeseeable and unpredictable friends that is the uh, um, aim of the day we are going to look into unpredictable and unforeseeable well those of you do not know me my name is vijay c naya and i'm a trainer with uh, bmax uh, kollam chapters well um, you might know bmax is an international institute uh, and our students are spread across the globe and uh, in kerala we have several branches and we are doing um, fairly on all international examinations like ielts oet hsaad moh dha cbt prometric that is for saudi khato and a man bls and acls well uh, the main focus of attraction is uh, oet where i can we can uh, claim that we are the leaders we are the best in terms of the number of students appearing and uh, the number of success for example uh, in uh, um, doctors oet there is a tells us 100 percentage 100 percentile success b and a whereas global uh, oet statistics is 76 with b max it is 100 percent nurses we are the uh, one who are sending so many so many page number uh, one and two then uh, three and four this is a result of the last month and then five and six and then uh, uh, six and seven so that is a proof and we have a for oet doctors nurses physiotherapists um, pharmacists and radiologists well others have been for example vet they have been come at uh, we, maybe in a couple of months we will have vet also that means we are covering the whole uh, oet and without any doubt we can say verily verily bmax is the uh, uh, leaders in oet not different is ielts the others are hello you know uh, well uh, so today um, we propose to spend on our, a module that is uh, speaking how to do the speaking how to do the speaking and the focus of attention is on part two that is cue card but before that uh, let me have a brief introduction about uh, part one and part three speaking usually is on the previous day or the next day of lrw now it has uh, it is for about 17 to 20 minutes and part one uh, is an introductory part where you have two type of questions the first uh, one two three or sometimes four is uh, identical id questions for example uh, could you please tell me uh, this for all id questions uh, uh, see this uh, could you please tell me your full name uh, can i see your id where do you come from uh, then um, um, tell me about your home or something like that all stock questions and all of them have to answer then comes uh, after that the uh, let us talk type of question so uh, not more than 10 questions recently they had been in japan i think they had uh, 13 questions in part one 
that is all flexible and the plastic then part to the so it will last for 5 minute and then uh, comes to part uh, uh, 2 that is called a cue card this cue card at my time uh, it was called a task card now i think a cue card is a better nomenclature than a task card then comes uh, that is uh, you will be you have to talk for 2 minutes and then um, you pass on to one minute you will get for preparation one minute preparation and three uh, two minute uh, about two minute for uh, talking and immediately they embark on the part three part three is a discussion interview type or uh, you can say discussion type based on the questions in part two now part one two and three the usual question is sir which is more important <laughs> all are equally important why it is important because when the candidates come uh, in front of me for example as an examiner when come i don't know what is the caliber is he five in between five and six or six and seven or seven up i don't know so i am very keenly watching so the candidates must be over extremely careful of the part one uh, giving because it is the first impression and you know what is uh, that is the last impression also so the first uh, is very important here it is uh, again you have to see and look at, as far as possible don't make any mistakes the first part for example could you please tell me here the, some people make the mistake uh, you can call me they, they allow you with a big name for like uh, Maria Abraham Thomas Vargis there are people with uh, three or more name definitely they are going to what can I call you now the small mistake they make is you can call me Mary that is the answer what they say me can call me as Mary this as is superfluous it's not needed you can call me Mary that's enough then as you go then uh, where are you a student that is a, a question where most people uh, make the mistake for example I am uh, not working now or I am working as a nurse or something like that all these are wrong because do question uh, should not uh, take uh, ing do do question do you what do you do you or what do you then uh, don't answer with ing because it has a different meaning uh, would like another and uh, used to do another and uh, make sure that uh, your do question you do not uh, you should not answer with a uh, uh, um, uh, used to used to means in the past now or uh, would like would like means in the future would uh, though is a past tense of will has a meaning like therefore uh, don't try to answer and uh, there is like to I like to read now the question is do you read uh, do you you uh, do, do how often do you use your mobile phone how often do you use your mobile phone? i would like then the meaning is a different one in future in the future in the future so uh, that is one another be very careful thing about uh, the part one question yes uh, that is a uh, three uh, verb like for example enjoy like and prefer enjoy like and prefer will always take the next verb uh, that is called a compliment verb next verb i and only prefer writing enjoy reading uh, like love uh, love watching and do not love to watch prefer to and uh, enjoy uh, to pre enjoy, prefer to use uh, 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 use a uh, mobile phone prefer to Prefer uh, takes two. If uh, the next word is a next uh, word uh, after prefer, the next word is a noun. Then you can prefer coffee to tea. I prefer coffee to tea. Prefer to tea because the tea is a noun. Whereas I prefer drinking tea or taking tea or play watching TV. That is also an important point uh, that many of uh, um, uh, our people make mistake in. So now we're gone. Part of the first introductory question, if it is enough that you give one sentence or maximum two sentences, and then come to uh, this. Uh, let us talk uh, for that take out of uh, let us talk about music, or let us talk about um, uh, your hometown, or let us talk about mirror. <laughs> let us do a topic mirror. Let us talk about mirror. In that case, uh, don't give more than three sentences because your uh, the time for uh, part one is half a minute. Half a minute means you can talk to three. Don't talk more than four. Four is also maximum. Three is enough. 
Three is enough. Now, what happens if you uh, talk more than three and go on talking? Then they'll cut, stop you. They'll go to the next question and you become angry. Recently, it happened. One student came to the examiner never allowed me to talk. Baba, that is uh, not because you are supposed to talk only for half a minute. Half a minute. It is possible that you use um, a gap filler and a linker because it will give flexibility to your talk. Flexibility is important in speaking. Now, speaking language is different from writing language. That is what we have to do. For example, when you write, uh, you will not begin by, you, for example, in a task two, you will not begin by saying, well, uh, um, uh, it is often argued. That, that will not, that is speaking language. And speaking language, you ought to be flexible. And the flexibility, if I say plus, what I can say, a usual example which I give is uh, the difference between Mohanlal and Mamuti. Moh uh, Mamuti is very stern and stiff like an Eiffel Tower, which I always say. Stern, stiff. Uh, in his uh, way, it is good. But a uh, Mohanlal is very flexible. So this flexibility should be brought into your speaking also. For which you can uh, answer, for example, using lingers like, uh, well, in my opinion. Or you can say, if I, I would uh, say. Or as far as I am concerned. Do not use it everywhere. But it is very well important. Do you know why? Uh, because um, uh, jump and answer is not an ideal way. Native speakers never do that. If a question is thrown to you, is thrown to you, is thrown to you, is thrown to you. Now you, you can take some time, you have to take some time. What time? Not more than three seconds. Three seconds. Now if you take more than three seconds, then what happens? Now they will think that it is a hesitation and go to the next question. So, you can take uh, maybe two seconds, it's a unique, you need not answer, jump, uh, uh, there is a proverb also, leap, uh, uh, look before you leap, look before you leap, look before you leap. Similarly, you think before, but how much time? Now here, so you take two seconds, for example, for thinking. And if you sit silent and think, uh, then it will be uh, quite monotonous, absurd and awkward. Therefore, uh, it is better that uh, two minute, two second, not minute, two second uh, gap you can fill with a well. Instead of saying, um, uh, um, uh, that is not the uh, right way of filling. You can say, well, 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 I would uh, say. So this is going to be the gap filler plus uh, a linker. So try to use them, but be very careful, don't repeat them. It happened the other day. Now, all the, this in OET. In the, the, all the questions she said, uh, it is an interesting question, it is an interesting All the uh, highly examiner laughed and that's why are you so interested this day. So, you should not, that, that also is, should be dated. You can study some, uh, uh, about some 10 linkers and use only one in part one and it can be repeated only once in the part three in part two we are not using it so that's all about uh, part two uh, practice 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 make you perfect so um, uh, only three sentences maximum and uh, don't repeat don't repeat and uh, practice it practice that is what uh, uh, our um, uh, what is this uh, um, uh, he said uh, chance favors the preferred mind Chance favors a microbiologist. He said, uh, uh, Chance favors a uh, Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur said, uh, Chance favors a prepared mind. So be prepared, but don't study by heart. If you uh, study by heart, uh, things may go dangerous. For example, that is called Prangiatan syndrome. Because he studied everything and at the moment he forgot. And it happened to one of my students also. Now I told her this is a very good word, millennial. Millennial is a very beautiful word. Try to use them if it is possible. Now she really wanted. And at that moment we was about to use that word, it slipped from her memory. So she made a very big show of that and finally said, yes, million, million, millionaires. Millionaire, she used millionaire, everything flopped down. So don't try to remember, don't exert too much, don't pressurize, let it come. What Wordsworth would say, spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. Spontaneously should come. 
it should come spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings that is what you have to do don't pressurize yourself too much because it may have a, a, a untoward a, a, a effects or a effects therefore don't do that now what it comes to me do what wonderful thing a very important thing that we trainers we teach you and give you methods and strategies and tips we give forget everything when you enter the examination hall for example what we do is what i tell my student uh, when you talk there is a shock question that is uh, how do, something has changed for example how the hometown has changed so i tell them you tell in three uh, uh, points that's three point what it was early what how it has changed and what it is now it's only mother don't try to adapt it in the exam hall that is only for preparation when you go to the exam hall what is no, no, normal and what come from you tell it now there is a great danger when they start giving their own immediately remember oh my trainer told that then stop it there come back and say everything is flop therefore these are only trips and tips and the trip and the tips and tricks are uh, no substitute for regular uh, yearly practice mind you i have uh, to tell you at the very outset for speaking three things are needed one the first thing what is needed is called a uh, yes the first thing three things are needed the first thing is um, time time you cannot uh, do it overnight for example if somebody ask me so how conditional sentences are made in english i can teach them in uh, 10 minutes and they can study it then and there that is useful for the next day only there are five conditional three four if and unless and less okay finish it can be taught in maybe 15 minutes and enough but uh, speaking is not possible uh, overnight not in a week not in two week it is a continuous process just like you open the tap water comes it must come therefore uh, don't be in a hurry there are some people register and they come to us sir my examination is the next week and my fluency is very weak and could you please will it now uh, we miracles is never seldom happen unless you are jesus christ yes it is possible unless your trainer is a jesus christ um, miracles seldom happen even seldom no seldom or never uh, that's a better way instead of saying seldom you say seldom or never happens it needs continuous so time is a very important factor as far as uh, um, this uh, speaking is concerned then uh, uh, second uh, is a perseverance that means you have to go on uh, go on talking go on practicing so that is the second thing and uh, third uh, is uh, i have written here somewhere right i forgot uh, uh, yes and uh, yes uh, three things that is time and the second is patience that is very important patience now some people get bored they say that uh, after working for a week or so they get bored uh, they have no patience i want it quickly no it is not possible and you should have patience you have to make mistake make mistake and get them corrected and then it is slow slow uh, slow and steady as they say in the proverb and last is persistence means continued effort now what happens especially for those who are coming to a class uh, they take two days leave and come on the third day everything collapses they have to start from the first day so it is it should be a continuous one so that is all about part 1 and part 2 is uh, part 2 is uh, uh, for two minute talk two minute talk uh, there will be that we'll dwell on in detail that is a topic of the day and the third part is called uh, uh, that is discussion which is usually based on the uh, part uh, q card based on the q card here the real problem comes up in part 3 is um, uh, so all of a sudden they ask questions and these questions are not a very easy one the questions are not easy one so what happens you know uh, they when they they completely block out they say i don't know how to answer i don't know how to answer now because um, uh, all of a sudden uh, there are, that happens because of two reasons one they do not know anything about it so for example nanotechnology what are the advantages of nanotechnology nanotechnology maybe for the first time the candidate is hearing then uh, what they say, they don't know anything about it 
That is number one. Second, they know something, but uh, it is not coming out of your brain into the world. So that is the second problem. These are, I think, uh, now think for a minute yourself, introspect. Have you ever felt this? When I ask, based on the part of three questions, part of three questions are not uh, your question. That is a general question. So in the general question, for example, they say, uh, art, uh, GM food, GM food, GM food. What is GM food? Maybe the candidate here for the first time. They don't know anything about it. Has uh, that a problem happened to you any time, at any time? Or you may know something about you have heard or read somewhere, but it is not coming. So this is the two things you have to solve in part three. The first part is if you don't know anything, better you do research. You do research. That is not on the examination hall. <laughs> that you cannot do. Yeah, you have to do research means uh, during the training time. Uh, there are uh, plenty of uh, uh, sources available. The best one, you if you don't have find uh, time, you can follow what we are giving. The uh, BMAX we are giving every day. For example, listening. We have excellent material for listening we are giving. That's enough. Why should you go for other uh, general? You listen to that. You ask your trainer. She will get it in Kollam. They are doing it very well. Every day that we have a Sansar has invented. Sansar or uh, managing director, a wonderful person. <laughs> he seldom sleeps, it seems, and he is innovating things how to make it. Uh, and a recent innovation of him is called a cluster. That means, uh, suppose eight students are given the care of a trainer, and the trainer, the trainer is a mother, or you can say a class teacher, and she daily monitors what the fellows are coming or doing. And uh, now this listening material which I am giving from BBC, wonderful material, really wonderful material. And I dare say, I ought to say that uh, those who are following will have no problem of, I don't know that question. Will not happen. And then uh, uh, reading also. So you have to, what they are giving there is uh, the cluster uh, trainer, that uh, cluster head will give this to the students and students will have to work at home and then find out the answer for that. So for example reading, reading are two types, one is called active reading and other is called passive reading. What is passive reading? For example, here is a newspaper. I don't have anything else to do. So I just turn and read it. Okay, okay, Amazon. I read it something. And after that, I throw it away. That is called passive reading. On the other hand, active reading is a different one. That is what you are doing in your listening, in your reading. Reading module. Active reading means you are reading in order to find out the facts and the figures and the stats. So that is called active reading. That is what we are excellent passages selected from some uh, magazines or not. And not only the question for reading. If we tell the students read, they I we know that we did because Sasu uh, Behudi. You know, I never used to do that when I was a student. So I you know that is what they say in Hindu. Sas Sri Sasmi Bahudi. Sas means mother in law was also once upon a time a daughter in law. So the mother knows what the daughter in law is like that. So we trainers know what the students are. Therefore, we never give that and tell them do and do it. We give, I, we give a question. The framing question will take a long time. Because read it, listen to it, and think about it. I take about 45 minutes for preparing one. And for uh, uh, listening, I take more than one hour. But uh, that is done. Therefore, use uh, maximum. Or if you have some other sources, like for example, TED ED is uh, an excellent uh, site. TED ED. Now you do it today itself. We go there and take the site and the daily spend maybe some 20 minutes on that. That is a very good uh, for listening and for reading and uh, idea gathering. So, so that's the first one. If you don't have know anything, then uh, that is a method. You have to go on practicing it and get. Uh, there are a few you can ask your uh, trainer and uh, she she will give you the topics. And uh, for example, uh, what we are doing in for the next week in uh, uh, Kollamar GM food. Uh, 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 advantages, disadvantages, plastic advantages and disadvantages, then AI, artificial intelligence advantages, uh, e-waste advantages. So what we are, similarly you go do research and give the top uh, and find out and get ready. That is what uh, uh, he said uh, preparedness or what Shakespeare says, all things are ready.
if your mind be so in rickshaw the second your mind that's a mindset mindset the other thing that is a problem is that uh, sir i cannot do that why because um, i am an introvert i am an introvert I, i cannot do it the real problem happens uh, this when you sit there with the examiner exam you have not seen the examiner or the examiner you and what happens you know you will be shy that happens in our spectra classes now most students don't come to camera no oh, i am very but don't you want to come to camera in spectra and to speak uh, and then uh, another problem is that no, i am little shy why if i make mistake so what so what error is human says alexander pope error is human man makes mistake or man makes only mistakes so there is nothing to uh, worry about it it is only through making mistake do you think about the small child and uh, start walking fall down so will you say don't walk till you can walk no this is a part of it failing failing is the part of success so once you know the taste then you can progress and therefore these problems you have to overcome that is what i call perseverance you change your mindset anyway 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 you want to get a seven bands now anyway then that you have to speak you have to get rid of your shyness why shyness because not used to you are not used to do it anyhow you have to do it therefore that is called a uh, part of three a lot of things are to be told but uh, now the main topic of the day is not then therefore let us come to part uh, two part two after part one you will get a question there the question is very interesting uh, that is put in a box and i think i have the question with you can i see one yeah there is something like that uh, so you can see here that these are the this is the way the question is given so here there are some part which are uh, um, always there is no change for that for example on the top uh, is a topic is given then uh, you you uh, you should uh, say you should uh, say that is also always the same the all the question will have the on the top you will have the uh, question that is a topic 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 then you should uh, say never changes then you will have four bullet points now this is the format understanding the format is very important so this is the format and then uh, uh, so what happened you should uh, say never change the on the top is the topic that never changes then uh, you should uh, say never changes and four bullet points never changes now this uh, never changes is a little gift because you know how to prepare it now because you are you to give a kind of a prediction now uh, you will have to speak here for 2 um, minutes so it is a lengthy one lengthy 2 minutes is uh, when ordinary time is nothing but uh, when you are going to talk 2 minutes is a long time it's a long time and uh, uh, for example a question like uh, this uh, here the problem a question like this describe an interesting book you read recently that is suppose that is a question describe an interesting book uh, you read recently and you should say what genre of the book was when did you read it what was the book about and explain why you found interesting now how are you going to answer that question here the real problem the first failure is that not because uh, many people fail in this part may the first problem not because a candidate cannot speak english they can they can speak english and they know how to speak also but still because they don't uh, they are not using uh, uh, the right strategy they have to use the right strategy because there is one minute for preparation the one minute preparation like in listening listening also you get one minute preparation and your success whether some we have some students uh, um, most of our trainers are uh, nine in listening nine bands in listening and it depends how we are going to use that one minute so here also one minute how are you going to spend now here the you see read each question bullet point each bullet point uh, uh, say for example uh, 10 to 15 second for first bullet point what what genre it was 
then uh, when you saw 10 to 15 second and then what uh, uh, what what uh, what type of what uh, was uh, book was 22 uh, what the book contained maybe 15 to 20 second and explain 20 that means about uh, less than one minute you finish they run out of points this is the major problem for many students they know how to speak they know how to do they can but what happens when they describe everything at the first minute itself they run out of they don't know they don't have anything more to say this happened yesterday so that's all i want to say but you have to speak well if you want only four bands no, no problem but if you look at anything uh, seven you have to fill that uh, seven then you have uh, one more minute left if you are going to answer the four bullet point that is number one now if you do this uh, this uh, uh, finish it everything by one minute or less than one minute your fluency and your coherence will be completely so this is a classic situation we examiners always find we give the topic and they prepare they prepare one full minute and they come and start and their point they run out of their points that is number one number two mis uh, mistake is the student get uh, stuck on more of the bullet points now see they take bullet point one two three and tell it in the chronological order and there may be a uh, for example in this one what what was the question i forgot ah what john ray what is uh, tell me about a book you have read recently what john ray was it uh, candidate doesn't know what the john ray is so she is completely stuck or uh, the real thing is that um, more than bullet points so one or more they get stuck on one or more one or sometimes two bullet points they don't know the answer so uh, what type of what genre is the book what is genre they don't know so that is also going to affect so what you have to do in these two cases the best method there's a secret what is the secret that uh, you need not so you see that there are four bullet points here it is not imperative that you have to talk all the bullet points they are they are called this card is called q card q q means clue a topic is given a topic is given and then you are asked to talk about what should you say you are in fact cambridge is helping you to uh, talk it very well they are giving a q a clue q means clue now that seems that uh, that's what i the uh, outset i said uh, at my time it was called a task card but now it is called a queue you know what are the point that's enough navigating you air sign post now you come to member junction one says that kollam other says it go to karnapalli sign post so what do you have to tell so uh, what you have to do is doing the one minute preparation time first read the title underlined the key points then see how many of the four bullet point is what are very familiar for you it is not imperative at all it is not mandatory at all you have to speak all the bullet points. my dear friends listen to me again it is not mandatory that you have to speak all the bullet point they are only to help you if you don't want to throw it you can do use your pencil and delete that second bullet point for example what john ray it was they don't know the pronunciation also the what you want delete it and you have three that's enough well if you can talk all the four well and good but it is not imperative don't get what we are bothered is uh, fluency and the coherence you know that i repeat the word fluency and coherence now you know how important it is fluency and coherence that is what uh, um, the examiner is bothered and not your nah, maybe you remember ielts is not a knowledge test ielts is not an idea test I means that i don't have ideas well, who is bothered about your idea so for example in a task 2 task 2 you say there they are not looking for your idea there are you looking for your they are not looking for your structure that's a real problem you have studied uh, some structure maybe given by your trainer or from the youtube you got a structure you are trying to follow that now what happens sometimes it goes this side or that side everything will be crumbled therefore what you have to do is uh, this uh, if uh, there if you are uh, unless and unless you delete the uh, difficult one it hinders it blocks 
it stops your fluency and coherence that is a very important thing so you delete what you do not know and spend ask several questions uh, so that you will be able in that uh, two minute in that two minute then not only for that uh, you can uh, the 30 uh, 60 second uh, maybe the first uh, second uh, 10 seconds you can use for how to make the open send opening sentence that opening sentence is very most people what they say i am going to talk about that uh, book i read all these are memorized ones sometimes there is a danger also they may go off topic they may uh, tell me about a gift uh, uh, you received then many students uh, tell us uh, a, a gift that i gave and maybe entirely different one so uh, be careful of um, there is a wonderful method again it is only a method now here it says uh, uh, talk about uh, talk about some item of clothing someone gave you how are you going to say well what is the topic an item of clothing underline an out item of clothing an item of that is a topic so you underline that 10 seconds take a underline uh, an item not item an item an item of clothing someone gave you then how are you going to paraphrase it an item of clothing someone gave me someone gave me gave a person therefore it should uh, immediately followed by was and then what is who was, uh, an item what it was so looking at you have to look at now in uh, speaking eye contact is very important you have to look into the eye of the uh, uh, examiner and speak but in this case you underline it and you can look at an item of clothing uh, someone gave me was and what was it you can tell so it is going to be a wonderful opening so for example what about that how do you do it now read and understand underline the key point what the topic an item of clothing you can start there well an item of clothing this seems to be a very um, a very very suitable convenient uh, method instead of saying i am going to talk about or some other way so here you're making your own original sentence original sentence your own not memorized one and but one thing you have to look at it and read it you look uh, read it and then look at the examiner so you will not make any grammar mistake that's a great advantage so an item of clothing someone gave uh, you become i i was was is here was dash then you can uh, as i told you select uh, of the four bullet point three bullet the remaining three select uh, whatever you know write notes uh, about it and go on that is one thing let us talk uh, another um, uh, uh, yes there is another one here it is a uh, talk about a person talk about a person you uh, follow on social media talk about a person you follow on social media and the first uh, bullet point is who he or she is so it is is uh, present tense so how do you make the opening sentence your know, top uh, topic sentence is a person so you can begin a person you become shy uh, a person i follow on social media and is dash is dash and then you can go on and so this opening sentence is also very but the otherwise when you make a opening sentence you make some mistakes either out of topic off topic or memorized one or some problem grammatical mistake now what is the real problem with the uh, part uh, two the real problem the students face is that one when you start talking you will be uh, looking for ideas one ideas second uh, you are looking for the right vocab vocabulary and the third uh, you are to be careful about the grammar part of it most people do right uh, ideas and right vocab but in the middle they forget the grammar part all the three are equally important that this as difficult as you are listening what is happening in listening you have to listen you have to read and you have to write all the three is not they are not synchronous you cannot do that for example when you write you cannot listen when you listen you cannot write and read but uh, that is called the real training 
uh, what is that uh, uh, beautiful quotation is that uh, uh, cauliflower cauliflower was cabbage with a college education mark twain i, I hope you remember that yes. cauliflower beautiful one was cabbage not so beautiful how cabbage become cauliflower with a college education that college education is called uh, the training so you should do it if you can uh, many of our students getting uh, nine band for listening if why in spite of this in spite of in spite of this problem if they can get nine bands it is not difficult to hear also so what you have to do is you should develop that attitude of uh, uh, synchronizing sin means similar at the same time chrono mean time all the three must be brought together what is that you should have to uh, use vocabulary you know you have to bring idea you have to use vocabulary and then third one you have to use the tense sense is a real problem if for example this question in this question for example uh, an item of clothing someone gave gave persons what it was then don't go use any uh, any present tense in the middle and on the other hand or this one here a person you follow on social media who he or she is so you have to use only present tense unknowingly 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 it comes now if you are a type reading and listening it will come now i have a, I have a student uh, and uh, she says so please don't ask me for the rules please don't ask but i can write good and speak speak good english if very please you see what she said is she can but she doesn't know the rule then i ask what is the secret then i try to find out yes she reads and she speaks she reads she listens she speaks naturally if something comes up that it cannot be correct because i have never seen that i always see that is called important say so is another question now uh, how do you frame the first sentence talk about your uh, your your favorite your favorite uh, toy as a child that is a question suchita your favorite uh, toy as so you become smile you become smile favorite toy as a child was now mind you then you have to use then now the question will be uh, tell about a time tell about a time when you reach late tell about a time when you reach for an important uh, uh, an event that is very important event late about a time so a time is your topic a time and then to do that about important uh, was when first question is when about uh, when time you can say uh, yesterday last week Uh, maybe a month ago or a couple of month ago 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 not before what's the difference between ago and before two weeks ago three weeks <coughs> ago one month ago <coughs> ago that is a pronunciation ago and now ago uh, but if you say before then before you have to add something more otherwise sentence is not complete when for example two months before ah uh, Ah, before before I, I went there, I saw the film when I had an interview before. So uh, you two months ago. So uh, tell about a time. So for your opening sentence, opening sentence, the question when was it? Maybe the second bullet point, but you can take it as first. A time, a time when I was late to attend an important function was a week ago, two week ago. Tell me about a person. a person who influenced me was who was the person my mother or my sister or my teacher so tell me about a place a place uh, uh, i would like to visit uh, is dash so you you should know how to frame the opening sentence number 1 then uh, find out how many points it is not uh, friends please remember you need not cover all the four bullet points that is going to give a lot of trouble for you and then again uh, don't think it is your four bullet point and two minute that means uh, for a half a minute for each bullet point then you are trying to speak first bullet point uh, uh, half a minute next that is impossible i cannot do it i don't know. i cannot do it 
Don't do it. Then uh, you say sometimes uh, after one bullet point will take a, a lengthier time. Other will sort of. But uh, this cannot you do in uh, um, your class two. Your uh, intro and the conclusion must be uh, approximately same length. And BP one and BP two must be approximately. If you if you on BP one you have about a fifty sentence and BP two about eighty sentence, then the examiner will say that the structural balance is there in writing. In writing. in writing but i told you in writing is different from speaking therefore what you have to do is uh, uh you read the question part 2 now use uh, now your success depends on how you are going to use your first one minute our first one minute 10 seconds must for the opening sentence read it and underline the keyword from there you form the first sentence look at that read it and then look at it. that is also very important don't try to remember now you take the paper in your hand and the first one you write it you are you change into you my you into my i or my and you are uh, you into i and uh, you are into my and then change it and uh, connect it with the first bullet point uh, the connection and uh, maintain and uh, talk the first and other whatever it is try to speak that is very important you have to there uh, 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 you try to use don't uh, um, don't repeat the words unnecessarily second is that uh, don't uh, pressurize uh, you might have heard your trainer telling you you have to use good words but if that good words are not coming Uh, don't try to pressurize that it will look uh, it will look it will look it will look you are this not coming from you so be natural as possible uh, uh, speak within your limit or a little above you that's fine that is what i uh, recommend you speak you know what is your limitation and you try to don't try to uh, because uh, that is a nine band word your trainer told you don't try to use it that's a serious mistake some people are doing Your example with this nine band word and because of we trainers have this problem, we say, oh, this is an excellent question. It will come. Why is it so that you will pay attention only that much? He doesn't mean when he finds a word, for example, he says, oh, this is an excellent word. Try to he means no harm, but uh, indirectly you think that that's the only way you can get or that is the way you will get a nine band. So if you cannot, uh, then afford what you can and do it. Uh, try to be within your range. You know your range, and uh, don't go uh, like uh, the uh, old uh, story in the uh, piece of fable. The frog wanted to expand itself, finally burst. Finally burst. So that should not happen. You know, you know what you can, and you know what your limit. You try to be within that limit or a little above that limit. Okay, but uh, if uh, some words are not coming. don't try to uh, do it <laughs> then there is a danger also because some words never do experiment with the language there some people are really funny because mm, they go to the examination hall and try to do experiments with the language that's very dangerous because you don't know uh, if you do know you are not expert at the language don't do experiment don't use the word which you are not really sure about because it will have a boomerang effect you know what is boomerang you take the boomerang and hit that will come back to you So, if you are using words that you do not know actually, then it will boomerang up. So, therefore, please don't do that. So, uh, then what you have to do is uh, try to be ready and uh, consistent, a uh, consistent and that you call sustainable. Yeah, that is the right word. The word of the twentieth century, twenty-first of century, sustained effort, sustained effort, and get them corrected. get them at and peer pressure peer group uh, activity is a very interesting one that's what i i do i okay, am telling my uh, uh, fellow trainers uh, so you find out the people of your own right mentality or equal wavelength mental wavelength and you try to be speak speak for fluency speak and another thing is that um, try to give a elongated answer Uh, that is a uh, uh, the difference between part one and the part three. Part one you are giving only the half a minute. Part three you have to give a, uh, a, a one minute answer. One minute answer. What are you doing there? Answer the question. Why? And answer the question. Answer the question and say the reason why, and then give example. Then I give example. Um, the last time, uh, just last examination. a uh, candidate was about to give a example the examiner said don't give examples 
you are shocked because uh, his trainers like me and others told give example but the trainers the examiner said no and the boy was really frustrated later we made a complaint and uh, she apologized to the examiner so you have to give that uh, you know the candidate which i told you in our uh, class so you have to give example what is example example is like a uh, reinforced concrete so that is the that those are the three part uh, part one part two in part two what is the main point you have to think is that uh, you should uh, spend one minute creatively how you are going to spend the yours mark whether it is 6 point or 6.5 or 7 or 7 up is decided by how you are going to spend your one minute the 10 seconds must be used for making the um, making the opening sentence find out the keyword and change you or your into i or my and connect it with the first one and speak throughout second point make a recap quick recap and the second point is that you need not tell all the four bullet point if one bullet point is difficult for you you do not know you are strange to you you have no idea forget it immediately delete it and it is enough that you don't on the other for and to give as many uh, as much information as possible and use good vocabulary don't try to um, uh, uh, repeat range 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 of for example don't use the word many many is a very silly word that is a maybe a four band word you said you can you can several a uh, beautiful word seven band word several numerous is a seven band word then a multiple seven band word then multifarious seven band word and a plethora nine band word so instead of every paragraph and make sure you are uh, you show the range range of vocabulary the range of that's called range of and then tense range also active voice passive voice all this come naturally that's what i said words or spontaneous emotion that is what words would say what is vital is spontaneous or flow of powerful feelings so when you sit there forget all the rules that uh, be max taught you then you go there and be natural and be within your limit within your limit be within your limit you know and don't experiment with the language and try to do the three things together which is not possible in a one or two days or even one or two weeks training it is a continuous training and make sure that you are attending class in b max advantage is that daily daily you get a one session for speaking you have root class you have spectra spectra very interesting thing is that in spectra last time result everyone ab initio got seven bands not more no less that is a big surprise for me i was analyzing result all of them all the candidate whoever appeared got seven bands because in spectra 8 to 9 is exclusively your speaking and a candidate may get maybe uh, twice or three times for speaking but uh, the candidate listening we will just uh, take a question and to give it to them now there may be 20 about 20 students giving 20 different answers vocabulary is easy way to study i invite all of you to spectra and root class for especially for those who are weak at uh, grammar we have our uh, divya madam and uh, she gives excellent training on that and she has mothered and whenever i am free i attend that her class to see how uh, she implements the mothered so root uh, you can be proud that bmax is giving that is why the result is very high every time every time we we see that for the next two we just see this one the four, how many pages 10 pages full how is it possible just because uh, of course the credit goes to the trainers they are so sincere dedicated again our trainers are the best people all of them have got seven band uh, b max never take uh, select any student who is less than seven band second we have a continuous uh, remedial remedial and a kind of uh, updating maybe at least once or twice in a month we call all the trainers and give them updating and hard working not hard working please don't do hard working the trainers or the teachers intelligent work hard work only donkeys do hard work is not a substitute that is not a, that is a mean hard work no do intelligent work that is what you have to do 
uh, well uh, you can comment uh, on this below and uh, I'm very happy meeting you this is going to be rainy seasons and the rain is uh, good because things happens during the rainy season may god bless one and all thank you namaste for all thank you how much time did we take